the kind of transistor that we do use in games, and it's the one that I've given you, and it's called a Darlington transistor. It's called a Darlington transistor. <laughs> Now, there's nothing really mysterious about a Darlington transistor. A Darlington transistor is simply two transistors in one single package. In the Darlington transistor, the emitter of one transistor is connected to the base of the second transistor. The two collectors are tied together. And all of this is in one single transistor package, like the one that I gave you, the TO220 package that I gave you. You still end up with a base lead coming out, and a collector lead, and an emitter lead, and they're still in alphabetical order. That never changes in, this, in the TO220 package. Any transistor that's in this package, B, C, E, the center tab, the center lead is also connected to the metal tab on the top. All that's exactly the same. Now, other than, other than the fact that it takes less space than two separate transistors, what do you suppose the advantage is of two transistors in one single transistor package? No. It has more of something. Yeah, what do we call that? Amplification. Gain. Gain, yeah, the gain. Heads up. Whoa. Hey. Do you play women's softball too? <laughs> Keep your hands down. All right. It's hard. Oh, you said gain. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, then you deserve that. Well, you deserve. So did I. I said that too. Oh, Jesus. Here you go. I wanted a Kit Kat. Kit Kats are gone. God, you big babies. Give them the kit. Give them the cat. Yeah, here's your kid. Here's your, here's your damn Kit Kat. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can have, you can put it in your crane and make some money off it. That's from Jeff. All right. Yeah, it has more gain. That's the deal. Um, a uh, a Darlington transistor. In a Darlington transistor, the gain of the first transistor is amplified or multiplied by the gain of the second one. For instance, let's say this first transistor had a gain H F E. Remember, is gain of 100. The second transistor maybe has a gain of, let's say, only 20. Together, this whole thing has a gain of 2,000 or 2K. Remember that one transistor, I asked you if you could use it as a substitute for the 2N3055, and you said, no way, because the gain was 2K to 20K. Remember that one? That had to have been a Darlington. The only way that we can get gains of 1,000 or more is with a Darlington circuit. Now, really, this guy Darlington, another dead guy, um, well, I assume he's dead anyway, I don't really know, I guess he probably is. He actually figured out a way to hook up vacuum tubes in this circuit called a Darlington. When we changed it to transistors, we still call it a Darlington. Uh, and where we use the Darlington transistor almost exclusively is in the pinball machines. These are the coil driver transistors in a pinball machine. The part number I gave you is the, the one that you use, TIP-122. It's like a, uh, I think it's a 5 amp, um, 80 volt, maybe 100 volt transistor, something like that. You could look it up in, in your book, but we won't do it right this second. Uh, and, and where we use this again is in the pinball machine. Whoops, I better not erase this yet. Let me put this back together here. Now, when you test the Darlington, no, I really screwed this up. When you test the Darlington, it's going to check a little different than a regular transistor. And here's what you'll see, and I'll have you do it in just a second here. Um, when you test the Darlington, when you check it from base to collector, you get a perfectly normal reading. You get a junction drop one way and open the other, just like normal. That's, that's fine. But when you check it from base to emitter, 
the junction drop you get will be somewhat higher than normal. Instead of like 0.9 or something, it might be 1.1 or 1.2 or something. The reason for that is that you have a PN junction here between the base and emitter. And it is in series with that base to emitter junction as well. In other words, when you're going from base to emitter, you're going through one PN junction in series with another. So that you get a normal junction drop here, but something somewhat higher when you reverse the leads. I mean, sorry, when you move the lead to the emitter. When you reverse the leads, though, that's perfectly normal. Open reading, open reading, just like before. One more time. Base to the collector, normal junction drop. Base to the emitter, something somewhat higher. Reverse the leads, open, open. Now, final check. Remember between the collector and emitter, in a normal transistor, what do you see? You see an open both ways, right? Open both ways. Well, in the Darlington, like the one you have there, between collector and emitter, um, you'll get an open one direction, but when you reverse the leads, you'll get a junction drop. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Open one way, junction drop the other. What part do we know that tests like that? Open one way and a junction drop the other. That's a diode, isn't it? Internally, inside this thing, in addition to the two transistors, there's also a diode in here, built into it. This diode is a protection diode. Now, normally, of course, you would never expect this diode to conduct, would you? Because the current is going to go in the direction of the arrow. This thing's facing the wrong way. This protection diode is there to protect the transistor from destruction in case the polarity becomes reversed for some reason. If the polarity gets reversed, it can wipe out the transistor. And that can happen in a pinball machine, and I'll tell you more about it on Saturday. Um, right now, all I want you to know is that it exists. It's a protection diode, and when you check this transistor from collector to emitter, you'll get a junction drop one way and open the other. One more weird thing on some Darlingtons, and, and these may be like this. We just really discovered this recently. Some Darlington transistors, for reasons that I don't know, uh, I, I don't really care, but, but I don't know either. Some Darlington transistors have a couple of resistors in here as well. Connected like this. When you check between base and emitter, you may not find an open reading the other direction. You may find a junction drop, fairly, uh, a somewhat higher junction drop one way. You may get a reading the other direction of some number of ohms. I'm not sure uh, how many. You're going to try it right now. Um, and the fact of the matter is, the reason I'm not worried about this is, when these transistors fail in a pinball machine, they always short, dead short collector to emitter. So it's really easy to find bad transistors. And I'll talk to you more about that on Saturday.